Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the chestnut oak. Quercus Montana, also known as rock chestnut oak, rock oak, or tan bark oak. It is found in the Appalachian Mountains and surrounding areas. It is a member of the white oak group, but the leaves resemble American chestnut leaves, hence its common name. Chestnut oak is a medium-sized tree that typically grows 50 to 80 feet tall and up to 2 feet in diameter. It's usually found on dry uplands and ridge tops. It is intermediate in shade tolerance and relatively slow growing. Chestnut oak leaves are deciduous, alternately arranged as you can see in the photo on the twig, and simple in form, meaning there's just one blade. They are somewhat oval, narrowing at the top and the bottom of the leaf. The edges of the leaf are scalloped, and the surface is shiny green and pale on the underside of the leaf. Chestnut oak is monoecious, which means one house, like the other oaks, and this means that a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are yellow-green on a two to four inch long catkin. And the female flowers are reddish and appear as a single spike. They appear with the leaves in mid-spring and the flowers are wind pollinated and pollination is impacted by weather. A rainy spring can mean reduced pollination. The fruit is an acorn. Chestnut oak acorns are relatively large, one to one and a half inches long. They are somewhat egg-shaped with a thin warty cap that separates from the acorn when it matures. They mature in one growing season, dropping in the fall and germinating once dropped. The acorns are dispersed by gravity and squirrels. Chestnut oak typically begins acorn production around 20 years, and acorn production varies greatly from year to year, with good crops every four to five years. Chestnut oak, like most of our oaks, is an important tree for wildlife. The acorns provide food for a variety of wildlife, including deer, turkey, and chipmunks, and deer also browse the young foliage. According to the National Wildlife Federation, oaks are one of the top 10 trees for wildlife. Oaks serve as a host tree for more than 500 different Lepidopteran larvae, including dagger moths and giant silk moths, as you see in the photo. These larvae, in turn, feed seasonal migratory songbirds, such as the Silurian warbler. The trees also provide critical nesting habitat for many of our cavity nesters, including the white-breasted nuthatch, as well as small mammals and insects, such as bees. The oaks also provide good cover for a variety of mammals as well because the leaves typically persist longer than other plant associates. The bark is smooth and gray on young trees but darkens and becomes deeply furrowed on the older trees as you can see in this photo. The deep furrows make it an easy tree to identify in the woods. The wood is light to medium brown in color though there can be a fair amount of variation in color. It falls into the white oak group and shares many of the same traits as white oak, Quercus alba. Chestnut oak has medium to large pores and a fairly coarse grain. It has been rated as having very good resistance to decay. The wood is often lumped with white oak, Quercus alba, and used for many of the same products, including lumber, flooring, furniture, and railroad ties. The tree can be a nice addition to large landscapes for shade and attracting wildlife as well. The national champion chestnut oak is in Washington, D.C. in Ward 3. It is 276 inches in circumference, 105 feet tall, with a 104 foot crown spread. Kentucky's champion chestnut oak is in Johnson County in, Paints, in the Paintsville Wildlife Management Area. It's 204 inches in circumference, 95 feet tall, with a 182 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree National Register or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees to learn about Kentucky's Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about chestnut oak. Chestnut oak bark has the highest tannin content of all the oaks and was commonly used in the tanning process prior to the 20th century, thus one of its common names, tan bark oak. The wood makes excellent firewood due to its high fuel value. 
The acorns are edible, but must be soaked to remove the bitter tannins prior to eating. They were an important staple in the Native American's diet. The tree's scientific species name, Montana, is Latin for mountain, referring to where the tree grows. Thanks for joining me today to learn about the chestnut oak. I hope you get the opportunity to get out in your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy this outstanding oak.